Hey fun fans, our friends at GoBuilda have supplied us an awesome giveaway of a Shaft Beams bundle for all FTC videos in the month of October. To enter, be a YouTube subscriber and comment on your favorite GoBuilda.com component or part. You can enter in any video that has this intro. There's no wrong answers here. So make sure you comment below. AO Null asked, uh, on the official Q&A, discoloration from the dyed rollers, uh, the dyed mechanum rollers, on the field will be considered field damage. Has this been tested? We've run, we've run the heck out of dyed rollers. Um, and the only, um, you can see occasionally you can wear out like the surface layer of a roller um, if you're running it really aggressively on hard surfaces. But the amount of dye that you're taking off is not going to be enough to leave a residue anywhere. We've never, we've run them hard on that. And we, mm -hmm. we haven't seen anything, anything come off on, on that. We've run them hard. Mm -hmm. If you're just on maps, I would be shocked if you wear anything off of the wheel. Awesome. Uh, Dev Boy asked, um, when will chassis kits come back in stock? Soon, soon. We are, we are, <laughs> we really want to get all out for, uh, you know, all the, all the uh, rookie teams. And so, but yeah, they'll be going back in stock here. You know, we don't have, we don't have our inventory person here right now, but uh, probably in the next two weeks, maybe hopefully less. So, um, but there, it'd be, it'd be within that time frame. So we apologize for the out of stock, but yeah, we got we got flooded pretty good. So mm -hmm. plus, plus wanting to get them all out for the wiki team, that was a that was a big part of it. Mm -hmm. There might be a couple more questions about in stock <laughs> stuff, by the way. Just, just <laughs> yeah. saying, coming up. Yeah, uh, and make sure if you are hoping to get one, um, a ton of teams really really want to get those in their hands. So hitting or plugging your email into the request to get a notification as soon as those come back in stock is always a really good idea. Absolutely. All right, so Mecha Muffin asks, um, how many versions of a product does the team go through before getting to the final one that goes to production? Oh, man, that's a great question. The final or the final final? <laughs> uh, even even the final ones, a lot of times, we'll, we'll, I mean, there's been situations where we've run thousands of uh, production lots, and we get it in, and we really, I mean, we test that, obviously, many times before, but... Boy, we're just not happy with it. We'll scrap the entire lot. So, but you know, boy, iterations. I would say at least, boy, can I would say at least six or seven. It's uh, tough. Like half a dozen. Yeah, because a lot of times, even if you're going through and designing a part, you'll go through tons of revisions before anybody else sees it. Um, so it's really hard to say for sure. Yeah. And even aesthetics of a part too come mm -hmm. into play. A lot of times the part will be great, it looks great, it runs, it will not look great, but it runs great, does the job, but boy, we just don't like the way it looks. It needs to kind of have that build little look to it. And so a lot of times we'll tweak products that way as well. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, any plans for FRC Neo, uh, Neo mounts is what HB Ninja asked. I think um, we have some. It's always, more FRC parts are always something that um, we like looking at, and we really love seeing FRC teams who use them, but those are a little bit further and farther between compared to our FCC customers. Cool. Uh, Fulton3415 and QWERTY QWERTY asked, when are the 435 RPM and the 13.7 planetary motors going to be back in stock? Uh, are those, this, I forget if they're the same or not. Very soon. Hopefully here in the next week, week and a half, right around there, so there are they're, they're right around the corner, so we appreciate you being patient on that. We apologize for that as well. But uh, it seems like a lot of places are kind of having some stock status issues, but uh, we're, we're not alone in that. But, but yeah, they'll be here in about another week and a half. We'll be sitting really well. Awesome. Xander Freemaker asked, uh, how much are you expecting the kit to cost? I'm assuming they're talking about the linear slide kit. Um, yeah, I think, so it, I think it is for that. that cost? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's... I would guess, you know, I don't, I don't know all the numbers right now, but you're probably looking at right around a hundred dollars, maybe slightly over. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, we'll see. It might actually it might be under than that. So yeah, it might be under that. So, uh, I don't know, know yet, but that's a huge range. I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, anywhere from fifty to one hundred and forty dollars. So, but no, um, yeah, I would, I'm guessing it's going to be right around a hundred dollars, maybe even a little bit less. So. Chat, just let us know how much you'd pay for it, and then maybe that will just dictate yeah. the cost. So. <laughs> yeah. Zero. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, no, no I, would pay, I would pay a ton for those. Uh, <laughs> having reliable linear slides is super useful. Um, Adam14875 asks, uh, can, they, can you guys talk about the tank treads in the background? 
<laughs> One's oh, right behind man. Jason there. Uh, well, that was an intern project from a couple of summers ago. Um, those are, those are uh, a speculative design that we uh -huh. 3D printed. So those are just uh, PLA uh, printed uh, tracks. And yeah, it's kind of a teaser. It's an Easter egg. We, we wanted to see if anybody would notice that. So yeah, we, there's not too much more we can say about that. Yeah, yeah. not yet. <laughs> so be, be on the lookout, but we're, we're in big time testing mode right now with really powerful drive systems. Because that tracks are just something you just, you just cannot mess up on. Mm -hmm. You know, we just that's a no no mess up option on that one. So we're making sure that we we get those things right if we come out with them at all. So, mm -hmm. but um, but be yeah, be on the lookout for for them for something like that maybe. And the intern who did that is also now somebody we hired on and is a full time staff member. Yeah. So we are always talented. look for um, applications and possibly people to come back after the intern. You're an out of the box kind of thinker a little bit, kind of mm -hmm. uh, boy, will problem solver. Problem yeah. solver, <laughs> not 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 afraid to speak your mind and and, 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 and say what crazy ideas you have. We'll bring you board. Man, I don't know anything about engineering, but I fit right in otherwise. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to add in, by the way, uh, why I'm the fool, I think, takes the comment of the day in regards to how much they pay for that kit. Uh, says, as long as Ethan signs it, he'd pay $1,000. So, <laughs> so, Ethan, I think you should just sign every single one. That's a premium margin right there that gets added in. So, you've got a new job. Now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> as long as I make it all, I'm happy. <laughs> awesome. Dave Boy asked, our team just got one of your FTC kits. We're kind of overwhelmed by everything that there is. Uh, is there any good resources that can show us how to well utilize the different things using the pieces that came in it? So I'm assuming they're talking about probably your uh, linear slide kit or your chassis kit. Yeah, um, a big resource that we really love pointing people toward our teams. Um, there are a lot of teams who do a lot of really sweet things in the kit. Um, they're always really great resources. So 7182 Mechanical Paradox is always one that I like pointing people toward. Um, Product Insights are something Jason really works on, a ton on and helps a lot for all those individual components. And we actually will have a PDF where you can download every Product Insight on our website um, down towards the bottom of our website, which will be a Product Insight page. So product yeah. Insight, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, if you take a look at the uh, footer of the, the site in the leftmost column, there'll be a, a link to the Product Insights page. And we just launched that the other day. Um, and that was another thing that came out of people requesting it. You know, people wanted one massive PDF that had all the Product Insights that we cranked out. So. And we're going to be coming out with a lot more Product Insights as well. So mm -hmm. that's not something that's just stagnant. It's, we're, we're, we're working on those constantly, and we're going to be dumping more of them out there every few months. So. Mm -hmm. Hey Chad, really if, you're, cool. if you're interested, Chad, I just put that link into uh, into the uh, chat room, by the way, so you can go check that out uh, for Product Insights. Really cool. I know our team has definitely, we've trained our rookie members using all of your Product Insights, so it's been really helpful for us. Um, so that's going to wrap up the questions that we have for today. Uh, we do have that um, giveaway. Could you show us the linear slide kit again and uh, yeah. the last giveaway for today? It's always tough because we aren't totally sure which version we're going to run on quite yet, but this is one possibility um, that we could have a linear slide kit that would be based on that. Again, you're going to be one of the first people to get it, so you'll have a fresh off the presses, maybe even R&D tested linear slide kit. Very, very cool. Awesome. So the, uh, we're going to go ahead and draw. Once again, go build a booth. That was the uh, keyword. It is not case sensitive, by the way, so if you didn't type it uh, in the right way. This is why, by the way, we do everything in caps here, if you notice, because then we don't have to worry about stuff like that. Uh, so uh, we'll go ahead and roll for that. Once again, if you win, please reach out first updates now, either in our Discord or here on Twitch, either way. And hey, guess what? Finally, a rigged giveaway. Cookie Hero 289 subscriber has won. Uh, congratulations. Get lots of rigged emotes in chat. Thank you, Gymnast. Uh, lots of redeemos in chat uh, for winning in Cookie Hero. Congratulations uh, to you uh, for winning that. Maybe Ethan will even sign it. Who knows? So, I think that could happen. There we go. <laughs> there, there we go. Uh, by the way, I do want to say Xander Freemaker added in chat. If uh, Go Build does sell merchandise, uh, please add a T-shirt with Ethan's face on it. So, you're, Ethan, you're just like a celebrity man. Gonna you, you're gonna, gonna have to now. negotiate for some sort of uh, revenue share program here or something <laughs> like that. So, very cool. Awesome. Uh, just before we end up on the show, uh, do you guys have anything coming up, anything you'd like to plug? 
Ooh, we got we most of you. Um, got our Instagram up, so you can follow us at Go Build Us. Um, we're on Facebook and I believe Twitter as well. Um, so we're all that place. That's a great place to see new things that we're working on and new products we really. We might even put it maybe throwing some sneak peeks in there as well every once in a while. So mm-hmm. yeah, certainly be watching that. And you guys have a hashtag you've been uh, trying to push your uh, as well too, right? For sure. So that's the Let's Go Build It Together. I think it was a keyword today. Um, we really like it. Kind of plays to the pun of our name. Nice. Um, so Let's Go Build It Together is a great way to kind of bring that community around um, our parts. Awesome. Uh, so thank you guys for coming on the show. I think a lot of the FTC community came and showed up to see this show, and it was really awesome to see the new products that you guys have. Uh, we'd also like to thank all the followers, subscribers uh, that subscribed today. Um, don't forget that you can subscribe for free with your parents' Amazon Prime account. Um, Tyler, could you read off the people that hey, could? Um... You know what, man? We just give money any way we can. Just saying. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh man, I always but is Sean. You know how to pronounce the first name? I always butcher. Is it is Elin Elin? What is it again? Island, I Island, think. thank you. All right. Uh, all right. So, read off everybody who subscribed today. Uh, Island, 9421, 18 months support. You think after 18 months, I get your name correctly, but it says, uh, Go Builder, go home. Let's show me a toy, but okay. Uh, fun FTC. Nathan, 18 months. Go Builder, go home. Super Rice of 07, Prime Sub. Trisha, 555, Prime Sub. Smoke Sam with the Prime Sub. Xander Freemaker, three months of support. Uh, Tia Hetchen with a Prime Sub. Cookie Hero, 289, who also won the giveaway. Nine months of support. It says, Go Builder, or alternatively, one could return to their household. All right. Uh, Sundra, uh, uh, 10243 with a tier one sub. Eric8417 says, uh, well, actually, we'll ask this. Uh, Eric8417 with six months support says, any suggestions for tie dye rollers? Ooh, I don't have any, but we really, really want to see them. Yes. <laughs> Let us know. Show us, send us a picture. There you go. And don't forget the hashtag there. Uh, Mecha Muffin, uh, three months support with Prime. HB Ninja with the Prime sub. Pork Roll 7 with the Prime sub. Corbel Mom with Prime. I am ready with Prime. Uh, Matt, uh, INWL, 10 months of support. Thank you very much, Matt. Thanks to everybody. And if we ever do miss you, we do apologize for that. Sometimes the bot doesn't pick up everybody. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for helping keep fun, loud, live, independent, so we can keep producing more shows just like this one right here. And we get our friends at uh, Go Build It On to show off some of their products and, of course, give away some sweet stuff uh, as well. So thank you, everybody, uh, for keeping us going. Can't wait to keep making more shows for you as we get into the 2020 season. Thank you once again to Go Builder for coming on the show. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Fun FTC. If you want to stay connected with Fun FTC, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Fun FTC. Uh, and join our Discord. That way, if you had any questions that got missed, you can ask Go Builder directly on there. On behalf of myself and our producer, Tyler, um, I'd like to thank you guys all for tuning in. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night. See you next time. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.